Hello everybody, welcome to another ErraBB replay, a thoroughly exciting mirror match that I couldn't be more hyped for, Necro versus Necro, oh, yep, um, <laughs> right, yep, so, uh, yep, Danton's got a bribe, PK83's got nothing, so PK83's got the higher TV team, uh, less players, but, um, yeah, he's got nice walls, hasn't he? He's got the strength four. The strength four wolf there. Pretty amazing. And both of them would move up. Perfect defense. Pretty similar teams, I guess, right? Um, there's a tackle pommer here on Danton's team. Two guards versus three guards and a tackle mighty. But pretty similar there. Um, walls of bludge. Blood step versus strength fall. And really, the strength fall is the difference, isn't it? The strength fall wolf is the difference in the teams and the difference maker. And, uh, two decent, two decent uh, gowls, as they say, <laughs> as they say in Ireland. <laughs> Whereas the two ghouls are benched for Danton. Uh, so yeah, better ghouls, better ghouls for PK83 and. Uh, Really better walls. So there you go. But you know, there's going to be a lot of uh, necro blitzing. I, I imagine. Which, uh, <laughs> you know, the classic, the classic necro blitz dodge away, <laughs> wolf blitz dodge away. Um, but you know, it, it, it's it kind of interesting, right? You've got the stand firm and the frenzy and what have you. Hello, Dementor. Gets the Shurans. I am a bit tired. It's it's a, nearly 11 at night. Um, you know, I'm a bit... I've talked for five hours in a row. And, uh, you know, you may see people streaming and you may think that's the easiest thing in the world to do. And while you wouldn't be too wrong, <laughs> it is sometimes a bit of a pain to talk for five hours in a row non-stop. So there you go. So I am, I am a little bit tired. Here we go. Like, not for Kalon, obviously. For Kalon, you know, if Kalon wakes up at 6am, by 11am he's talked for five hours non-stop every single day. But for normal people... <laughs> Talking for five hours in a row can be pretty tiring. <laughs> oh wow, look at that, the double skulls. Also we had a classic Necro Blitz there, not with a wolf this time, but just random white did the old dodge away, classic. No stand firm, needs to be able to reposition. The X factor of this wolf. I wonder if any of them are going to try and you know set something up with uh, near the sideline, or if they're going to be be happy with playing in between the lines, as it were. The piling the players in, I think, is in PK83's interest. If, if they're reduced to sniping, um, you know, Danton has a tackle palm juggernaut. So, <laughs> that's a hell of a, you know, like that, if you're trading blitzers each turn, you're just going to lose, right? Like, that's a pretty, pretty horrible prospect of just trading blitzers with that guy every turn. So, you really do want to try and uh, mix up the game. So that you can uh, you can get in somehow. Oh, you meant Danton playing players then? Yeah, well, yeah. No. <laughs> fair enough then. But yeah, this I think I think it's fair enough. PK83, like even on offense, I quite like him playing there because I think 
This guy is annoying, isn't he? He's very annoying. To the point where I think I would have punched this guy and then blitzed him with my might. Even the wolf. Instead of going for a frenzy trap. Gets away with it. Dodges him off, gets away with it. Oh god. Artemis would be having an aneurysm right about now. <laughs> I'm just I'm just sad watching Necro teams play each other. <laughs> pretty pretty standard Necro play. I don't really like the honestly, I just don't like Necro. I don't like I don't like playing them and I don't like playing versus them. Like they're a pretty good team. You know, like, I should enjoy using them because obviously they're a good team, right? Like, Skaven are a good team. I just don't like the way they play. And I just kind of don't like the way Necro play. But, you know, and also I don't like facing them because they're, they're good. <laughs> I did win Blitz with them, yeah. Well, remember, thank you, Steve. I did win Blitz with them, but that was because the rules pack was, like, so in favour of them. And, you know, I feel like I can play pretty much anything. Even in one minute turns with a race that I haven't played many games with. I thought the rules pack was so advantageous that, you know, I kind of had to. Here we go, greed reroll. Coming in hot. Does he follow? No. Doesn't need to. Look at that. He didn't want to expose himself to the gang foul. I don't really condone the greed reroll if you're not going to pile on, right? I've, to me, there's not enough value in just rerolling for the mighty blow hit. But um, I think if you're going to pile on, fair enough. Oh my god, wrestled. He would have got wrestled, so, so we rolled it. Hey, dodge out as well. Classic. The really scary dodge out as well. If that dodge out fails, we've got 2D on the ball pretty easily. Um, flip me. So yeah, I think that, that's the thing with... The thing with that, I was saying something, I forgot what I was saying now, but I was saying something and I'm sure it was brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, the foul, like obviously that, that big foul, right? If he if he had Pom, he's potentially getting gang foul. So I feel like if you're not gonna pile on, then the greed reroll loss loses a lot of value. So you should only then do it if like you feel like you're really far behind and you really have to get lucky. Um, but in general, or, or you know, hope your opponent's going to 1D you and Skull and Kaz himself. And then, obviously, it's a pretty good reroll. Uh, he, he, I mean, it was the DP that he would have wrestled. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, like oh no the DP was it was wrestled this one but the DP was right here the DP was right here both sides did have a DP uh, I'm sure yeah this is he's just you know, type that in. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. I didn't like the reroll. But like you, when, when you've got a strength 4 wolf, <laughs> you get used to really, really, really liking that strength 4 wolf, don't you? Oh, wow! I didn't, I didn't even notice this. Yeah. He probably shouldn't have been stood there, should he? Oof. Oof. He could have been one back, and then the ball one back, right? I didn't even notice that, holy moly. Yeah, he could have been one back and the ball one back. Rough. That there, by the way, is why movement just not as good a sidestep. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately the sound effects, the sound effects are, uh, it's the right channel, but the sound effects are off so that people can't ruin the start of the video. <laughs> <laughs> I can put it back on now. Right, they're on. They're on again now. Fuck off. See, see. As soon as they're on, <laughs> instant, 
instant swearing engaged. Yeah, maybe I need to bleep them, and then I can have them on all the time. Oh. <laughs> Classic Elliot. This is a bit... He's got to go in early, right? Because this wolf is going to get back. He hasn't got much support. Zombie zombie this guy. Hope for the power, and then you can tackle upon the wolf. And, uh, and get the other wolf back. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful cars. Gets the pal. Yeah, the glasses. <laughs> the glasses on the desk is really, really is top tier. Ooh. I don't like doing the GFIs before the blitz. I want to do the blitz first. So that, you know, I've got the reroll for the... <laughs> I've got the reroll for this hit. For the GFIs here. Or for the reroll on the hit. So that I can, uh, you know, and then just just don't touch, right? Just have him there. I think would be fine. Because he's forcing the score in anyway, right? And I'd really want to pawn that strength four guy. I'd really want to pawn that strength four guy. But just did a three plus. Gets it, but he goes in early, does PK83. Danton is going to have a chance for the 2 1 grind. Three turns, one reroll. But obviously, movement movement nine wolves are pretty pretty responsive to uh, to breakaway, so it's not going to be easy. Going for the old zero LOS approach here. Very hard to break through against. Decided to go with an LOS after all. <laughs> Goes with a rule of five. Interesting, interesting. That might not be enough. Yep. I mean, this might not be enough, right? Because you're giving him free reign to put like his team about here. And then that can get him to here, and we can just stay there. He can just actually just stay there and get the wolf on the last turn. So. Yeah, I think I would have gone Chevron. He has got a Juggernaut here, which makes it not so easy. But Yeah, I think I would have gone Chevron. Because if you go chevrons and he goes one side, then your wolf goes nine, right? And so you get to reinforce the wolf. The, the problem with like slow teams, like dwarves or whatever, if you chevrons, then well, these four players can't do anything. You need to waffle back and do nothing. So like three of your players would be well. Only yeah, only really two of your players would be out, and your wolf would be able to come right over, and your gal. He's even got juggernaut here, hasn't he, for the uh, for the blots. I think I'd have liked this this guy just further forward, right? Only three forward. That could have been this zombie, and then he could have been out here. We're we gonna foul the. Uh... Oh, maybe he's gonna foul the fleshy. Then maybe that's why he did it that, that way. He's gonna foul the fleshy. GFI for a two assist foul. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so that's actually there's 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 some there's some good value there, isn't there? But still, maybe uh, maybe could have still had like something out in front, either a ghoul like the rookie ghoul or the uh, or the white. Would have liked a bit more penetration. Like what, when someone's allowing you to penetrate them for free, <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's a that's a maybe too good to pass up. Oh, he's trying to interfere this way. Cheeky cars. You know what? Put the put the strength forward there. 
here, won't you? This guy is a little bit annoying, isn't he? He's just too far away. I guess that was a really deep kick. It's actually pretty good having this guy there. He probably counted out seven for the handoff, didn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he counted out seven for the handoff to this guy. And him getting this guy through there. EK3 getting this guy through. So it makes it a double GFI to handoff. Pretty nice. And obviously can't waste the blitz on him. So he's added a 2-2. Two, two. And obviously a counter scoring threat as well if something goes wrong. So pretty good move. Looked a bit pointless at the time. <laughs> Artemis would have probably said, <laughs> worst play I've ever seen. <laughs> but actually, there's a pretty pretty good payoff there. Oh, lovely getting to pom the ghoul. That's what we like to see. Not actually getting to pom him. Oh no, Juggernaut! Oh! Juggernaut! Amazing! Amazing! Probably wants to move this wolf down first. Oh, he does the dodge! Woo! He went for the one in nine dodge! Very risky. And he fails the hand off. Yeah, maybe he should have moved him forward. Eh? But I guess he's already got two. Maybe, maybe this is better, more, more, uh, more cover for the failed hand off. Super interesting. In comes the big dog. The only problem is he used his like used his recovery, didn't he, to uh, cancel that assist? Oh, and he's got guard. He didn't need guard though, did he? Couldn't couldn't he have just stood this guy up and then like blocked him and then moved this guy around and then that would have had the white to pick up and score mate potentially I think I would have tried to do these blocks first as it happened obviously he doesn't knock over the fleshy but if you knock over the fleshy and you can get this guy around to cancel that and then you can cancel that just by standing up maybe uh, you know maybe could have got the I think it was worth trying to get the counter score there I think it was Like, at least do these speculative blocks first and see, see if you can have a go at uh, getting the counter, counter score. Frenzy doesn't affect him there, does it? He can chain the other one. Oh, wow. Regen fail. It's a, it's, a, it's a five. It's a minus movement on that guy. Huge. Huge Kaz against Anton. And then what happened? Did he dub skull? I think he did. He was out of rerolls, wasn't he? So. Yep, Le Double Skulls. Wow. So. <laughs> PK83 is down to 10. Danton. Is still on 11. And PK83 is down his white. Not permanently, he might maybe you keep this on movement 5. You're not happy about it, are you? But with with only like 4 games left in the season plus playoffs, you've probably got to keep that guy at movement 5. And 2 kills, including the defensive Gowl. Danton, I don't know, I don't think he really did anything wrong with that two turn attempt, well three turn attempt, but it just didn't pan out did it, maybe well played by PK3 getting in the way and stuff, I think he might feel opportunity loss a little bit to have got the win here, but certainly not out for the game is he like with the uh, a man up here, good quality player gone as well. White and good down is really good for uh, really good for Dante. Might try and go for the win, yeah. 
It's always hard, isn't it, to go for the win? Like, is a bash team is just a, it's just a stupid, boring, generic bash team. It's it's really hard to go for these wins. You know, even if, even if things have gone well for you, you might think if this is a Kazi will, you know, something like that. Like the chance of you just losing is so great. And it depends, obviously, on how many points you are in the league and stuff, and what your goals are. You know, like if your goal is top three, then maybe you push for the push for the win more. If you're happy just to get top eight in the playoffs, then uh, you take the draw. You know, settle for the draw. Like that. That is an aspect of leagues that isn't present in Chalice, right? Where you just have to win. Eight of a eight of a twelve qualify for the playoffs. And three, the top three get a buy in the playoffs. So, and it's it's really close. It's really close. I think I think I think Elliot is not guaranteed top spot, but he's he's very close to to guaranteed uh, top three. Very close to guaranteed top three is Elliot. And then I think the other the other two that are joining him. Is very much up for a very much very contested. I, I actually less contested than I thought because I, I expected Sick as Eggs and Chivite to do better than they have done. But still, you know, the other people have all done well as well, so it's, it's really tough. Always going to be really tough to get the top three. A buy is absolutely massive. Though. Buy is huge because that's the you know like wow there we go so now getting the Kaz right that might encourage you to go for the quick score if he, if he stays out minus AV he does stay out so there you go brutal match for PK83 he's had a minus move and a uh, minus AV pretty horrible and that might that might encourage Danton to try for the win now. I quite like that strategy, like, you know, if you've got a DP, just throw in a few fouls. If you get super lucky, then, you you know, maybe you now you can try and like, go for the win with that. Uh, with that. It's, it's so dangerous to go for the win here versus, versus these wolves. Yeah, the buy is absolutely massive. Like, so just games of Blood Bowl are just so random, aren't they? That's the thing. Like, the games of Blood Bowl are so random. Like the best person in Blood Bowl Two versus the worst person in Blood Bowl Two, you know, is something like an eighty percent versus a twenty percent, right? So like that's still that's as bad as you can get versus as good as you can get, and it's still like pretty up in the air. So buys are absolutely massive. Yep, exactly, exactly. So it, it is like leagues are interesting in their own way. Like I, I, I hate, I kind of hate early seasons, you know, where the result doesn't matter at all in your players or everything. I don't really enjoy that too much. Oh my god, especially as I like have to. I don't, I don't even met the game it as much as I should and could do, but. I can't just, you know, I can't be stupid. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't just ignore it and go for the win at all costs. I just can't. Like, so, I don't go as crazy metagamey as I could. And, like, you know, would if there was a million pound win. You know, but I still just kind of find it a bit shit that most of the games, you know, what, we're, we're going to have 33 games before playoffs. And 22 of them don't really matter much. You know? The first 22 don't really matter much. I don't really, I think, but you know, that's a problem in like literally every single ship you leave. That isn't a, that isn't a error BB problem. This was, this was, oh. he's trapped him. He's trapped him and he made the dodges anyway. Oh man, oh man. I like, I like the sidestep to trap him. I, I like that sidestep. That was a, Bit dodgy from uh, PK83, wasn't it? The frenzy trap and the dodge out gets away with it. Flip me. Oh, 
Yeah, I, do you know what? I might join Fumble Super League. Dial. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And that's like still better than most leagues, right? And it's like, it's really not a knock on our BB. It's just, it's just the way, it's just the way, you know, big leagues work with progression. It's, but, you know, obviously Super League, both the, Super, the Blood Bowl 2 Super League and the Fumble Super League both just did away with progression, which it does solve that problem, but it solves it in like, you know, a pretty boring way, right? People love their players getting better. Like, everyone who plays Blood Bowl enjoys their players getting better. Even the super competitive groups still enjoy that, right, when they play leagues and stuff. Should have uh, should have obviously stood this guy up a lot earlier, he ended up just standing up after dice rolls. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll enter the next one. It's months away, isn't it? But I'll enter that. It's only one game every two weeks as well, isn't it? Like, the scheduling put me off. I fucking hate scheduling games. But, um... I'll do Super League. Yeah. Now that Blood Bowl 3 is dead... I can play one game a week in Arab BB and one game every two weeks in Fumble and that's about enough. <laughs> oh god, the man did. Can you change a team at any time? I guess not because you schedule. But then I guess the schedule would just be coaches. Like, that's the thing, right? If it's going to be res, you could just change your game. You could change your team every week. <laughs> It's more dead just because they've, uh, I mean, well, first of all, it's not particularly more dead, but, you know, they've thrown out the rule because, as, as people have said, isn't it? That's, uh, when all they've, when all they've, when they've, they've talked so much about wanting to adhere to the rule, and then they've decided to just throw the rule book out. I mean, they already had by not having, you know, half the rules in, but at least not putting rules in somehow doesn't feel as treacherous <laughs> as, as changing the rules deliberately, <laughs> does it? <laughs> you know, they were never rules compliant before, but now they're actively uncompliant. <laughs> Having to re-roll the POW fish to get out is pretty rough, isn't it? Didn't even get out either. Did he run out of time? Maybe. Oh, he was just going to get surfed, wasn't he? He was just going to get surfed. So he didn't have to move afterwards. But he'd get surfed anyway! What are you doing? What are you doing here? <laughs> I went... F <laughs> I turned like 10 again then, didn't I? What are you doing? <laughs> um, he could have just blitzed and pushed him to here. And then surfed him. I know he's strength four. And you've only got three turns to score. But he's strength four. <laughs> and you've got three turns to score. So I really do like surfing the strength four here. I really would have liked to surf that strength four. Yeah, that's that's one situation where the whole Dave or give up the entire drive to get a surf looks pretty good. <laughs> when it's... Uh... <laughs> Yes, you're losing out a little bit positionally, but, you know, surfing a strength four is, uh, whew, hot stuff. Like, he's just, he's just really good, isn't he? I guess you get a tackle pom him here, which is pretty good as well, isn't it? Throws in the greed reroll. I don't know, I, th I really do think going for a surf there is good. Like, he's still got these fleshies, like, holding the line a bit, hasn't he? He's got the fleshies holding up here. And the only big threat here is the wolf itself. So, yeah, I think... I think the play there was definitely to go for the so. Like, this is a stronger position, right? Obviously, for this turn. And there's only two more turns after this. So, like... You know, you can argue this, but... But kill his strength four player, for fuck's sake. 
<laughs> Do us all a favour, okay? <laughs> I mean, I've played both of these, so I've got no, uh, I've got no real. Uh, it would just be for potential playoff matches, wouldn't it? Uh, would be invested in death. But in general, I think it's fun to cheer for death, isn't it, in other people's games? <laughs> I'm sure everybody's cheering for death in my games. <laughs> <laughs> in every one of my games, I'm sure people have been cheering on deaths. Oh wow, the Dubler skulls. Very scary rest of the turn. Probably should have just done this blitz first. Yeah, with this guy as well, so you've still got this one if it goes wrong. Oh my god. What horrible, horrible, uh, horrible block dice for a turn. Continues to be horrible. Double GFI, no assist, or no, block him first. Right, maybe he's going for the double I think he's going for the double I quite like the double GFI, no assist. Because if you if you if you make this hit and dub skull, then uh, the goo can get around the back, can't he? Whereas if you do these double GFIs, it protects you even if you don't break A B it protects you so you can make that block. Can the wolf reach? Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. He could have reached. Hmm. I think I'll... Uh, well, I don't know if I come for that. Because you get him in danger, aren't you? And, well, you got him in danger anyway. It got KO'd. <laughs> Did not die. Do you go for SPP first? Probably. I think I would have gone for the wolf hit here, so then the tackle pummel could have gone for the kill. I mean, a 2D on a blodger isn't the best, but it, it's better than just not hitting him, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. But yeah, probably wouldn't have got it. I'd have probably given up on the drive earlier, to honestly just settle for the draw. <laughs> if, I was, if I was PK83, I would have probably given up earlier in the drive, protect my, protect my wolf and take the 1-1, one, one, you know? But if I was trying to stop it, if it was Chalice or whatever, then I think, you know, going for the 2D on the wide and on the bull, hope for a pal. And that's it, but in a league, I would have probably, I would have probably given up earlier <laughs> and taken the draw. Even in this final season, right, like the, the, the equity that you're getting for the match is just not particularly significant, is it? Chances are... You've lost the you've lost the drive. You haven't lost the match. You're not losing. You know. It's not like a huge loss drawing this game. Like if well, there you go. If he runs it in early, I win because I've got strength four wolf. That give the ball to. <laughs> so I would have almost certainly given up earlier. <laughs> Try to tempt him into the two one loss. Yes, please. I love it when people lose, choose to lose 2-1 versus me. <laughs> He's only got one wolf, hasn't he? Did he? If he'd had this wolf, I wonder how he'd have settled, because with a wolf he could have... Um... Could he have done something? No, he hasn't got sidestep, has he? Probably didn't have the players in it or anything. Even with the other wolf. Go for the riot. I 
think it was hard enough to not try. To be honest. Yeah, I, I think it was hard enough to not try. <laughs> and would have failed to pick up anyway. <laughs> Classic. There you go. Wow, over twice as many AV breaks for downtown. But that that's the because the piling on's a bit broken, right? It like counts you as uh, two armor breaks every time you pile on. But I uh, did outbash him quite heavily. More blocks. About the same. About the same. Nearly identical number of blocks. Um, obviously, frenzy adding to those. So there you go. Good game. A good game. Very interesting. Necro mirror. Lovely stuff. Well played, both. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.